Hello all. This video is how to take cube roots on a Toro bond. Before you try this, make sure you've watched my videos on the alternate method of taking square roots. Let's compare those two first because they're very similar. This is the square root and this is the cube root. Remember first we divided an estimate into the number. Now we're going to divide it into the number twice before we added the estimate to the quotient. Now we're going to add the estimate twice. Before we took half of the sum, now we'll take a third of the sum. Let's try this example to see how it works. What is the cube root of 200? Well, we need to know our cubes first. So which number cubed is about 200? Here we go, 6. 6 cubed is about 200, so let's use 6 as our estimate. We need to divide 6 into 200. Let's do that. 6 into 20, 3 times. 3 times 6 is 18. 6 into 20, 3 times. And 3 times 6 is 18. This will keep going. 3 times, subtract 18. 3 times, Subtract 18. 3, 3, 3. Now we need to do this twice. So let's divide 6 into this number. 6 into 33, 5 times. 5 times 6 is 30. 6 into 33, 5 times. And 5 times 6 is 30. Again, 5 times 6, 30. 5 times 6, 30 and 5 times 6, 30. And this keeps going. Now we add our estimate to the quotient twice. So let's add 6 and then add 6 again. And finally take a third of the result. A third of 1 is 0 but we carry that 1 over. So now we take a third of 17 which is 5. Carry the 2 over. A third of 25, 8. A third of 15, 5. A third of 5, 1. A third of 25, 8. A third of 15, 5. And this repeats 2. 1, 8, 5. This is only our first time through, so we don't need all these digits. We'll just keep the first two, so I'll round this 5 up and get rid of all these. So our better estimate is 5.9. Our guess was 6, and our first improvement is 5.9. But we can improve this again, so let's repeat this process to improve on our 5.9. Let's divide 5.9 into 200. 5.9 into 20, 3 times. 3 times 5, 3 times 9. 5.9 into 23, 3 times. 3 times 5, 3 times 9. 5.9 into 53, 8 times. 8 times 5, oops, 8. 8 times 5 is 40. 8 times 9, 72. 5.9 into 58, 9 times. 9 times 5, 45. 9 times 9, 81. 5.9 into 49, 8 times. 8 times 5, 40. 8 times 9, 72. Let's take one more digit. 5.9 into 18, 3 times. 3 times 5, 15. 3 times 9, 27. 6 digits is good enough. Our second time through, we only need 4 in our end result. So we'll just take 6 for now. I'll divide again. What's 5.9 into this number? 5.9 into 33, 5 times. 5 times 5, 
25. 5 times 9, 45. 5.9 into 43, 7 times. 7 times 5, 35. 7 times 9, 63. 5.9 into 26, 4 times. 4 times 5, 20. 4 times 9, 36. 5.9 into 32, 5 times. 5 times 5, 25. 5 times 9, 45. 5.9 into 28, 5 times. No, that's too much. Just 4 times. 4 times 5, 20. 4 times 9, 36. And one more digit. 5.9 into 44, 7 times. 7 times 5, 7 times 9. 9. Let's stop here. Get rid of these numbers. I'm going to add our estimate twice. So 5.9 and again 5.9 and divide by 3. A third of 1, 0. A third of 17, 5. A third of 25, 8. A third of 14, 4. A third of 25, 8. A third of 4, 1. And a third of 17, 5. Our second time through will only need four digits, so I'll get rid of these. And our improvement is 5.848. But we can improve that, so let's do this one more time. We need to divide 5.848 into 200. 5.8 into 20, three times. 3 times 5, 3 times 8, 3 times 4, 3 times 8. 5.8 into 24, 4 times. 4 times 5, 4 times 8, 4 times 4, 4 times 8. 5.8 into 11, once. 1 times 5, 1 times 8, 1 times 4, 1 times 8. 5.8 into 58, 9 times. 9 times 5, 9 times 8, 9 times 4, 9 times 8, Five point eight into fifty six nine times. Nine times five, nine times eight, nine times four, nine times eight. Five point eight into forty two seven times. Seven times five, seven times eight, seven times four, seven times eight. 5.8 into 15, twice. 2 times 5, 2 times 8, 2 times 4, 2 times 8. 5.8 into 37, 6 times. 6 times 5, 6 times 8, 6 times 4, 6 times 8. 5.8 into 23, 3 times. 3 times 5, 3 times 8, 3 times 4, and 3 times 8. Uh, wasn't quite enough, so I'll add one more to that. 1 times 5 is 5, 1 times 8, 1 times 4, and 1 times 8. 
how many digits do we have? Four, eight, nine. Let's do one more. 5.8 into 12 twice. I won't do the subtraction. Uh, two is close enough. Now we need to divide again 5.848 into this number. So let's do that. 5.8 into 34 five times. Five times five, five times eight, five times four, five times eight. 5.8 into 49, eight times. Eight times five, eight times eight, eight times four, eight times eight. 5.8 into 28, four times. Four times five, four times eight, four times four, four times eight. 5.8 into 47, eight times. Eight times five, eight times eight, eight times four, eight times eight. 5.8 into 6, once. 1 times 5, 1 times 8, 1 times 4, 1 times 8. 5.8 into 37, mm -hmm, 6 times. 6 times 5, 30. 6 times 8, 48. 6 times 4, 24. 6 times 8, 48. into 25 four times. Four times five, 20. Four times eight, 32. Four times four, 16. Four times eight, 32. Into 17, twice. Now, let's say three times. 3 times 5, 15, 3 times 8, 24, 3 times 4 is 12. We don't quite have enough, but I'm going to stop. It is about 3, so I'll round up to 3. Now we need to add our estimate twice, 5.848, again, 5.8. Eight, and divide this by three. A third of one is zero. A third of seventeen, five. A third of twenty-five, eight. A third of fourteen, four. A third of twenty-four, eight. A third of one, zero. A third of ten, three. A third of sixteen, five. A third of fourteen, four. A third of twenty-four, twenty-three. Excuse me. 7, a third of 26, a third of 26. So let's see what our improved it result is. 5.848035475, and we'll round this up to 7. Let's see what the real number is. The actual key root, 5.848035476. Oh, so we were off by one over a hundred millionth. So it's very good. This is good practice for multiplication and division. It's a challenge. So try a few of these and see if you can do them on your own. Good luck.